Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Happy Friday to you. Made it through the week. Good job, everybody. Uh, actually, mm, camera's a little far forward. There we go. We are playing Card Shark today, which, yeah, I haven't been streaming as much lately just because I've been pretty busy and in the gym more. So, I'm still trying to do three a week. It's just, once it gets later in the evening when I'm about to stream, I'm just like, ugh, I'm tired. But... I'm, I'm gonna focus on, on getting these streams going. And yeah, now we have a game I've been waiting so long for. I saw this in like a compilation trailer a couple years ago, I think, if one of the E3s or the indie things. And I saw like little clips and I'm like, oh my, oh my God, that looks amazing. That looks like exactly me. As Thought Slime said, it's like, this game was made for me. You guys can play it, you guys can enjoy it, but it was made for me, so keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked to crack into this, and there's plenty of opportunities for voice acting, which you know, you know I love doing. Um, oh! That's interesting. It actually has my save file from when I, uh, played the demo. Uh, we are going to start a new file, so that y'all can see, but, uh, yeah, this game includes profanity and depictions of suicide, death, violence, and gambling. It's mostly gambling. It is not suitable for children, so... All you kitties, get out of here. Just kidding. You can stay. Just shh, don't tell nobody. My dear player, it is with the utmost diligence that I must warn you against the hazards of this game. It will teach you secrets that will turn you as easily into a beggar as into a king. It is based on the Memoirs Sans Paroles. A dangerous manuscript I unearthed my beloved Buquiniste of the Nine, Rue Blanche. This is set in France, by the way. Be careful as you play through these fateful events and unravel the destiny of the Forgotten Queen. For here lies the work of the devil. Wow. Yeah, very atmospheric. It all began on a misty morning of 1743 near Pau, in the south of France. Hello? Oh, you lad! Come here! Where am I? Where am I? Oh, yeah, I just got hit the button on those. Did your majesty have a good nap? I'll smile, I'll be friendly. Oh, don't give a tinker's time! Patrons are coming to work now! Okay, well, let's pet the dog. One great thing about this game, first thing you can do in the entire game is pet the dog. What are you doing fidgeting like a salmon about to meet the crew? Crute, you're about to have one of your convulsions and you best make sure my customers don't see it. Come on, lad, you need to earn your keep. That's my boy, now do your job. Uh, ooh, ooh what am I gonna give, what voice am I gonna give him? Uh... You lad, come, pour me a drink. Hello? How are you? Many thanks, lad. Now why don't you keep me company? Take a seat. Sit. That chair is fine. Yes. I couldn't help but notice your mistress is rather rough with you. Can't you speak? You can't. How fascinating. Indubitably linked to these seizures your mistress spoke of so fondly. The ancient Greeks believed people like you possessed prophetic abilities, you know. Load of nonsense, if you ask me. Uh, no, no, I'm slipping. Slipping with the accent. How do I... Oh. Okay. Either way, you strike me as an intelligent fellow. Hmm. Would you like to earn some extra cash? Yeah, sure. That can only mean yes. Listen closely. Though there's more need to be made, there's plenty more to lose. I'm going to play a game of cards tonight, and I'm going to win. Thanks to you. But before I explain my plan, I have a question. Do you know what suits are? Yep. Good. On to the plans, then. You will serve us wine as we play and peek at my opponent's cards. Then you'll signal to me the best suit in his hand. Whichever he has the most of. But how will you signal? Hmm. 
I don't know. After serving the wine, you will take your cloth and wrap the table in a particular pattern corresponding to that suit. That made sense, I hope. Good. Let's discuss the wrapping patterns you can use as signals. For hearts, you will wrap in a clockwise circular motion. Okay, I'm going a little too hard on the ho. Uh, yeah. Correct suit. If his best suit is spades, wrap in an anti-clockwise circular motion. If you see a majority of diamonds, wrap in a straight line up and down. Do, do, do. And finally, if you need to signal clubs, wrap the table in a side to side pattern. Do, 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 do. There we go. Excellent. You seem to be getting the hang of it. I've thrown a lot at you, I know. But should we try the next trick? Now let's try having you peek over my shoulder as you pour me a fresh drink. When you've seen my hand, signal to me the best suit. Ready to give it a try? Whoops. Well, that'd be spage. So we want to go anti-clockwise. There we go. Well done, lad. It seems we have ourselves a plan. Yeah, as relaxing as this music is currently, this game gets kind of stressful. It's, it's very high-stakes stuff. I take it you've had enough practice. Yeah, let's let's move on. Wonderful. Meet me back here tonight and we'll see about making some real money. Surely. Uh, yep. Hello? Hello? Where has he gone? The gentleman who was at this table. He didn't pay for his wine. We'll have to dock that from your wages. Okay. Mean. Later that day. I'm in luck tonight. You, on the other hand. You will probably die soon on the gallows or of the pox. That will depend on whether I embrace your principles or your mistress. Be careful, sir. My apologies. I spoke in jest. Let me reveal your cup. Hello. How do you do? How much do you want to bet? How about five levels? Maybe it's livre. Ah, uh, gotcha. And then let's. Uh, ooh, he's got a lot of diamonds. I think. Up and down for the diamonds. Yes, correct. He did it. What? How did you do that? Just the lock of the draw, my good man. A drink and everything will be forgotten. Alright, raising the bets. It's diamonds again. Do -do. Nice. Alright. Wipe that grin off your face. That sort of setback happens to everyone, my good friend. Only yesterday I lost a fortune. You know what I did? I had a drink. Allow me. Young man, fortune favors me. I think I deserve another drink before we keep playing. Would you be so kind as to refill my cup? Hmm. Many thanks, lad. I'll say when. When. You've played the first rounds well, lad. But look to our opponent and you can see he's starting to get suspicious. Oh. I fear it won't be long before he's had a no. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn, we've been scuffled. <laughs> Oi! What are you two whispering about over there? Nobody cheats me! He's got a gun! Oh, I think you gotta preload one of those, so he just had a loaded gun in his pocket. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh no. Uh oh. Well, that didn't go great. That's unfortunate. Forgive me, lad. I got a little carried away. The law will soon be upon us. We need to go. Now. That odious fellow appears to have left his purse. How careless. Hmm. 
How about that? They come there. Chapter one. I am a gr I am a great believer in only worrying about those things we have control over, and we have no control over this craft. Therefore, we should not worry. The Comtesse de Saint Germain. Camp of the Cascarots, Agen, France. The following morning. Hello. Iranio, my friend, do you hear that in the breeze? The rustle of the leaves and the murmur of the nearby brook? Yes, our good friend the Comte has come. We will stop here for a while. The gentleman who killed your patroness is Colonel Gabriel, commanding the Baum Regiment. It won't be long until he accuses you of, his, of this murder. I'm afraid you make the perfect scapegoat. Your animosity with the deceased is well known. You are poor, young, and mute, and you fled the crime scene with a notorious thief. Me. But do not worry, we're safe here. This is the camp of the Cascaro. They are friends, they don't talk. And like all the other Romani in France, they fall between the cracks. They're invisible, a bit like you. Make yourself at home. I need to talk to the magician. Hello? Hey! Who's there? What, what, what you need, Rainio? What you got to say? What you got to talk about? Friendly. Patient. Mm. Smiling. Are you done making faces? Good for you, good for you. So you're the new pet of our dear Comte de Saint-Germain. No, don't answer that. My name is Aurenio Funes, cheat and humble artiste of the shadows. I trick my fellow man for money and adventure. Would you like to learn magic? Absolutely. I thought you might say that. It's called Three Card Monty. During the Hundred Years' War, an English lord lost the entirety of his estates over this game, which is a very English thing to do. Then he threw himself off the White Cliffs of Dover, which is a very French thing to do. So follow closely. Do you see the queen here? I'll put her here. Now follow the queen closely. Show me where the queen is. Oh, I wasn't. I think it's B. Yes. Nice. You got it! Luck is important, but don't rely on it. Anyway, you seem to have understood everything. Go show up to the magician. Okay. Oi! Yes, you. There's nobody else here. Come back. Ha ha ha. Uh -huh. uh, you actually thought the secret to Tricard Monty was to wave your arms like a fool. I worry about the Comte's judgment these days. You would have looked a fool in there. But I suppose we can't have that as it makes me look bad. I'll show you how it really works. Start by flipping the cards over. Good. Pick them all up and show them to me. Uh, whoop. Uh, yep. Now for the important part. The secret that makes it work. You can either play fair and put the queen down, or cheat by putting down the card behind it. What did you choose? No, don't tell me. Now for the fun part. Mix them up, but be careful to keep a good rhythm. Boop. Boop. Oops. Ah, dip. Stop, stop, stop. You're performing here, understand? That means everything has to have the right pace. Too fast and people don't want to bet. Too slow and they'll know you're a cheat. Keep the rhythm, and let's try again. Start by flipping the cards over. Good pick, uh, yep. Okay, we got the... Uh, bing, bing. And then we cheat. Don't tell me. Here we go. Uh, uh, whoops. 
A little early on the Y. A little early. Okay. Very nice. Now take your time and swap two cards. Make it look deliberate. Uh, A and Y. Excellent. Now time for me to choose. Get done goofed. Very good. I didn't even see you cheat. I think you're ready now. The three card Monty. All right. Ready to give it a shot. McGregor is probably after you already. Well, it's not the uncertain end of chance that has me in this dump. I'm glad you appreciate my hospitality. At least it smells better than Versailles. Come in, boy. I was waiting for you. Yes, come. Meet the magician. I will wait outside. Hello? The Comte seems to think you have abilities. Trick me. Alright, let's see what I can do. It took me... Whoop! No, no, that was too obvious. Your timing needs improvement. Deceive me. Trick me. Okay, okay. I messed up the timing. It took me quite a while in, uh... In the demo to get this right because of the timing. Because it's also the way I was playing it there. It had delay. Let's do B and Y. Not that it really matters. Ba-bam. Magnificent. Time for me to show you a trick then. I'm gonna teach you how to read an opponent's mind. I'll prove it to you now. In fact, I'm so confident in my abilities, I'll put 40 liver on the line. I'll take that as a yes. Pick a card, any card, from the deck and place it on the top. Remember which one you chose. Let's go for my boy, the Nine of Clubs. Good, the card you chose is on the top, and you remember it? Excellent, now pick a number. Let's say between two and five. Let's go with four. All right, now watch this. I'm going to shuffle the deck and then cut it. Abracadabra, I know where your card is in the deck. Remember the number you chose? Watch. One, two, three. According to the number you picked, this next one should be your card. Is that your card? It is indeed. Good, because there's no way I'm parting with my coins over that. And relax, you owe me nothing. The Comte told me of your origins. I can see that look in your eye. It's always the same. You want to know how I did it? I'm willing to explain since you showed such promise with three-card Monty. Alright, so I've chosen my card, the Ace of Diamonds, and placed it at the top of the deck. For the time being, let's keep it simple. I'll choose the number one. That means all we have to do is keep the Ace at the top. Let's see what happens if we start shuffling. As we first start mixing the cards, we can keep an eye on the Ace. But if we keep shuffling, we click quickly lose track of it. Let's reset the deck and see what we can do differently. Start shuffling again, but only drop a clump of cards at once. At this stage, we know that the ace is at the top of the pile in our bottom hand, but if we keep shuffling, we'll lose it. I suppose you're wondering how I keep track of your card when I shuffled and cut the deck before. You're right to look suspicious. The trick is to put a marker next to your card so we can find it later, even after more shuffling. You do this by dropping one card onto the pile and offsetting it slightly. This is called in-jogging. Remember it well, boy. That's it. Now you can shuffle the rest without worrying about losing the ace. Great. We now know where the ace is. But we wanted it at the top, not somewhere in the middle. So now what? That's where cutting comes in. We can feel for the in marker with our fingers and cut the deck at that point. The next card down was our ace, remember? So when we recombine the piles, we'll be back at the top of the deck. But why trust me? Let's allow the cards to do the talking. Voila! As if by magic, the Ace of Diamonds back at the top of the deck. Let's see if you understood that. 
Try shuffling and cutting, making sure the ace gets back to the top at the end. Sure. Let's see if you got this right. That looks like the ace of diamonds to me. Well done. Would you like to practice it again? No, nah, that's a pretty simple one. No? All right. Let's take this trick up a gear then. Think about what we've learned already. By the end of the trick, we wanted the ace at the top of the deck. And sure enough, we dealt out some cards and the ace came out first. But the real trick is a bit more impressive. You let someone else choose the ace's position. You see, boy, giving your target the feeling that they're in power is the key to pulling the rug out from underneath their feet. So with that in mind, imagine I'm your mark and I've chosen the number four. You need to offset the ace with three other cards. That means when you deal, the ace won't be first, but fourth. I'll teach you how to add these offsetting cards whilst you shuffle. Let's start as we did before. Shuffle some cards down once, just like earlier. Good, now before in jogging, we need to offset the ace to the correct position. Drop three more cards, one at a time. Great, now create yourself a marker by in jogging a card. And all that's left to do is shuffle the remaining cards down and then cut. This is, see, yeah, this is the stuff I saw in the trailer, and I was like, oh, that's straight up expert at the card table, like Erdnay's technique. This is why you can't do overhand shuffles in gambling, because it's so easy to cheat it, and, like, pretty much anybody who knows gambling will know these techniques. These are real, like, card cheating techniques that were used in history. This is so cool. That all looked right to me. Let's see, shall we? One. Two. Three, and... There's the Ace of Diamonds as the fourth card, just as planned. Impressive work. Now, before you go running off trying to impress everyone with your newfound wizardry, heed some advice. There's nothing more embarrassing than messing up a magic trick, so keep practicing. Now, remember, I get to choose where I want my card to end up, and neither me nor anyone you show this to will pick the number four just because you learned it. So pay attention to which number is picked, and only offset the card that far. Let's have the number three this time. All right, we do it, and then we offset it, and then we in-jog, and then we keep shuffling. See, look at that. That's how natural it can look. If you, if you practice this enough, it can just be like shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Perfect. Time to check. The Ace of Diamonds, exactly where I asked for it. Well done. Would you like to practice again? Very well. You seem to know what you're doing. You're a quick study. The Comte has done well. Oh, 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 there it is. Just need to go a little further. He's smoking. You tricked the magician. I hope you didn't sign away your soul when I've been working so hard to earn it. What? Oh, come on, lad. It's not like you've sold it to death itself. So you're part of the family now. We share everything here, including our gains. Everything we give to the camp will be given a good use. It's like a pauper people's bank. We support the elderly and the ones who can't work anymore, like Arenio. I also hope that one day we could use that money to change things for real in this country. I'll give you 20 livres. Your half of the money is yours to spend how you want. We would appreciate it. Uh, we would appreciate if you could spare some for our house. Absolutely. Do -do. Uh, let's not make him upset. We'll match his donation. We all give what we can. Thank you. We all done here. We shall keep moving. All right, and here's where the game really opens up. Find a record of your adventures in the journal. Now we get to pick where we want to go. Uh, I'm going to go top down because the Parliament's Cafe is actually kind of tricky. At least the, the specific method you use there is a little difficult uh, for me, personally. We're not going to this scene for leisure, of course. Not when there's coin to be made. That simple trick we pulled at the tavern won't work. How do you feel about taking a seat at the table? Ha. <laughs> You have a zest for the game already, I see. 
You won't be playing to win, of course. You'll be aiding me. Before I get to explaining our next strategy, do you need a refresher on card values? Jack, Queen, King, S? Uh, no. Good. Similar to last time, I need you to signal to me what you know of my opponent's cows. I doubt we'll find anyone quite so drunk as before, so I'll need better information if we are to win. You'll need to communicate the suit and value of our opponent's best card. That'll be enough to tip the scales. Excuse me, I just had dinner. The way you hold your cards and how you play them will tell me everything. I call this pinch and drop signal. Let's start with clubs. Play a card from your hand holding three fingers in the air. Alright. Very good. For arts, hold the card with two fingers extended. Alright. Right. I'm sure you know where this is going. One finger lifted for spades. Good. Have a close hand when signaling diamonds. Shall we move on to signaling car values? Or shall we go over signaling suits again? I don't know why I was having so much trouble with the French accent before. It is a little cartoonish, I will admit, but, you know. That's my brand butter, is the cartoons. Great. The way you play the card will signal its value to me. For aces, raise the highest card to the highest point before letting it fall to the table. Just like that. For King, show me a strident ruler by reaching forward and placing him deep into the table. Good. Now for Queens, treat the monarch with respect. Gently lower the lady down and place her on the table. Perfect. And for Jacques, pull your hand back before you fling the rascal forward. Well done. Would you like to go over that again, or shall we try putting this all together? There we go. This is one of the easier um, signaling systems for me. Just because they had, like, reasoning for why each one is. A lot of them, they feel kind of random, and they don't quite gel with others. But, like, that one, the, you know, highest one's high, king further into it. Like, I get it. It's cool. I suppose you're wondering how you'll see our opponents and if you're sat at the, at the table. Any ideas? You. Quite right. You can't pose the wine when you're a customer. The responsibility will rest on my shoulders. I'll deal in such a way that you may steal a look at our Mark's cards. Commit to memory the highest value card they get dealt. Don't forget its suit. If the lucky wretch is dealt two cards of joint ties value but with different suits, Isaac card will do. I call this technique Dealer's Glimpse. Let's practice. We got us uh, ten of clubs, nine of hearts, ace of diamonds, jack of clubs, and ace of spades. Let's go with uh, spades because it's a little faster. And it's an ace, so we go up. There we go. Bravo, it seems we have ourselves a plow. Nice, and that's three of the 28 cheats you can do. We can run through it again if you'd like, or would you like to rest for the remainder of the journey? We can rest. I think I got that. We've got the journey yet. Some handwriting practice will pass the time. Now let me find my quill. Absolutely. I'll, I'll relax France later that day. <laughs> this scene has proven to be a fertile hunting ground at the, in the past. They look at the man in red seated over there with all his finery. Let's release him for all he's worth. Now stay back here until I'm seated. Okay. You seem utterly bored, my young friend. I happen to know the perfect cure for that ailment. You're not a doctor, I hope. I may be bored, but I'm not suicidal. I only administered the sweetest form of thrill. A good old game of gals. That's a remedy my humors can agree with. Please, have a seat. I'm having a seat too. Hello. Bet it all. Bet it all. 
Uh, yeah, we can start at a higher bet. I'm pretty pretty quick with this system. All right, four of hearts. Keep an eye on it. Nine of diamonds. King of hearts. Okay, king of hearts is still the highest. King of hearts it is. And then we go uh, forward, deep into the table. Yep. The thing... The, the problem with this system is it gives you an advantage, but it doesn't guarantee you'll win, because it only lets you know if you can win the hand and whether or not to bet or not. So you could still, like, lose hands by folding, but... Uh, more of an... That's the thing with, like, gambling and cheating and all of that is, like, you're only looking for a general advantage that, on average, will get you more gains, not necessarily something that's, you know, perfect. Just checking the heat in here. It's a little warm, but I did turn the AC down a little bit because I'm the only one here and I have the highest tolerance to heat of anyone I live with. Ah, growing sick of your medicine, Comte. Do stay for another round, young patient. It won't hurt one beat. Uh, yeah, heck it. Let's go spicy with it. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, thinking about because it, it doubles every time. That was King of Spades. Um, I should have gone lower so that I could hopefully get more money out of him total. Uh, well, I think it'll be okay. Ace of hearts. All right, so we're going two fingers down and up in the air. Nice. A stringent defeat again. You've got a dreadful bedside manner, Comte. Only through the suffering do we feel alive. Oh, okay, I can keep going. Uh, yeah, let's let's put them all in. Ace of spades. There we go. Uh, hopefully we can get a lower spade. Ace of diamond. No, that's fine. That's three fingers down. And then up. All right. And that's an ace. There we go. Ah, well. I can't make the bet for the next round. Your treatment was expensive, but appreciated. We should say a game of cards a day keeps the doctor away, not an apple. I fully agree, my friend. The apple only works if you're good at throwing it as the doctor. Thank you, monsieur. I'll be a good patient and follow your prescription. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't, but, you know, that's all good. Ooh, a new journal entry. How do I check my journal? Those are strategies. Is it minus? X, Y, B, A. Is it if I... Oh, Y when you're on it. C'est wrong. I sat at the table during a game. We cheated a gentleman. Saron. All that cheating is making me uneasy. The Comte has said it's fair game if the player already has too much money. The smell of hops and warm food made me long for home. The Magician. Cascarot Camp. I write this from a Cascarot Camp. It smells like smoke. I draw Colonel Gabriel. He killed Miss P. The Comte says Gabriel will blame me for his... You know what, actually... Let me do these from the top, because it looks like he's getting better and better at writing. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll actually just do a stream where I go through the whole story. I think. Yeah, or maybe at the end of the stream. Yeah, at the end of the stream, I'll go through and reiterate. All right, let's go to the manor. I, I suddenly, as I was reading that, I was like, I have a better idea for this. We are heading to the manor of Baroness de Beauregard. She has the look, the laugh, and the breast of a horse. Now you should never mock a lady, especially a rich one. Needless to say, we're visiting for a fortune, not our company. We'll be developing the trick we pulled at your employer stump. Remember how you used a cloth to signal a suit? Let's take that a step further. As my servant, you'll be able to pour drinks for everyone at the table. 
And owing to my widely known fastidiousness, extra cleaning won't raise eyebrows either. I can play aggressively if I know the exact count of my opponent's most numerous suit. To communicate this account, simply repeat the suit signal without interruption. Let's give that a try. Show me what you do to signal two clubs. Might that be this? Good. Let's try three hours. What then? That's right. Now show me four spades. Whoop, two, one, a two, a three, four. Good. You seem to get the idea. Shall we try with you spying my hand or go over it again? Excellent. All right. That's uh, two spades. Well done. That wasn't so out, was it? We can go over it again if you'd like, though. Excellent. No need to vlog a dead horse. I say we skip the rehearsal today and see to your verb declensions instead. But before we go putting the cards away, I am preparing a small surprise to multiply our gains at the end of the game. An impromptu, if you will. Allow me to teach you the final technique of the evening. I call it dog-eared card. I'll slip a second deck into your pocket as you bore my drink. Take it to another room, find an S, and bend the corner of it, like you would to mark your place in a book. Next time you pour my drink, I'll take the second deck back. Follow my instructions and you'll be fine. Let's do a practice round. Cord. And then we find an ace of any sort. And then we let him take it back. Well done. A bottle of Bordeaux. A fine bottle of Bordeaux. Trust me, lad. It all makes sense in good time. My ploy will be far more convincing if you're kept in the dark. Do you like more practice? Very well. Time for those verb declensions and... We're getting close. Remember, follow my instructions and everything will be fine. If you say so. Spallion, France. Later that day. Hello? Madam? My dear Comte, here in my humble home, what a little scoundrel! You flit about like a hummingbird. Am I not enough flour for you? Unfortunately, being close to you turns me into an imbecile without a remedy. Are you going to play as an imbecile tonight? I cannot wait to see that. I'm yours to slaughter, as always. Would you like a little drink? Pet. Oh, yeah. He's the one betting. Look, 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 look. That is two spades. Oh, and yeah, I gotta get the deck from him. And then we two spades it. There we go. Nice. Well played, Comte. I thought I had you. Beginner's luck, dear Baroness. You remind me of the charming MacGregor, the king's advisor. I've heard of him, a busy fellow, with a lot of interest in the new world. He also keeps many secrets for the king. Pray tell. I, I wouldn't know. What about the events of the twelve bottles of milk? If you win again, Comte... Oh, if you win again, Comte... Boy, how exactly were you planning to pour us wine with an empty bottle? Go and fetch us more from the other room. Oh, that was my chance. All right, we gotta find us an ace. Uh, da, 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 ace. And then we're going. Hello? Uh, whoop, two. 
clubs, I think. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're good. Nice. We're still a little under, but, uh... Well played, Comte. I thought I had you. <coughs> Excuse me. You owe me a secret, the Baroness. The twelve bottles of milk, was it? I'm all ears. Hmm, MacGregor wouldn't like me to tell the king's stories. You should visit my old friend Aramitz, the musketeer. He was there, you know. It's the twelve bottles of milk. Shh, it's a secret. Let's play again. Let's, yes. Uh, oh, that is two clubs again. It's been consistently two clubs, huh? Comte, you have me beat. Don't look so upset, Baroness. It's not pretty on you. Out there! I jest, of course. You're ever breathtaking. Your sorry jokes and acid compliments won't lighten my mood, Comte. You know I loathe to lose. And I tire of seeing you disappointed. How about I give you a chance to earn back your money? Pretty now. What did you have in mind? Sadly, I cannot part with tonight's winnings. My poor mother, the Duchess, needs her medicine. But this pocket watch here belonged to my father, the Cardinal. is worth 200 livres. I'll have my boy cut the deck, for fairness's sake. If he gets on this, you owe me 200 livres more. Otherwise, I'll give you the watch. I trust you're satisfied with the terms. I'm feeling quite generous of late. And here I thought I'd be the one regretting your visit. You're on! You know, you know me, boy, superstitious as they come, so don't overthink this. Cut the deck wherever you feel like, and with my luck, wink, it'll be an S. Alright, let's time it up. Whoa, yeah! Huzzah! Wow, well done, Comte. Fair is fair, I suppose. Take your money. I'm, I did it. It's been a pleasure playing this evening. I do hope we can do it again sometime. Sure, sure. Alright. Finish that up. Nothing else to do over here. Nothing to do there. So it's time for the Parliament Cafe. And this was the part. This is where I went first in the demo. This is where they really sold me. We are heading to Talus, a city on the verge of hysterical frenzy is the best place to make a profit. The whole city will be busy, noisy, and distracted. We cannot let this opportunity pass. The magician showed you a technique that allows you to maintain an offset stack, didn't he? Whilst you now have a strong foundation to work with, the technique has some flaws. Fiddling around with the deck at the table is just too risky. So, how else can we stack the deck? You'll use something I call the Full Harvest. You will collect cards at the end of a round, so they sit favorably in the deck during the next one. Picture all in your mind how the cards will fall if you're the dealer. Because I'm sitting to your right, I'll be dealt lost. That's where we want high value cards. Pick up the card clumps in an order that ensures I'll end up with a high card when you deal. Uh, we'll go with this one first. Doesn't really matter what direction. And then we'll go with this one, but we will do it this way so the king is last. Well, that's the part that's that I had trouble with before. Doing that quickly is very difficult. Balvik, I'm guaranteed a lovely strong card when you deal. You're doing well, lad, but it will be a bit more complex in practice. There'll be many more cows on the table, and I am a greedy boy. Make sure I get three high-value cows this time. Um, alright, we'll go with this. And then we'll go with that, but we'll go to the right. Then we'll go with this. Uh, uh oh. Did I mess up? I don't think I messed up. Yeah, I think I messed up. Ah, dip. <sighs> yeah, this is where I had the most trouble. Not quite right, lad. We'd better get it right before moving on. Let's try again. Okay. 
This one gets the fourth card. Then we'll grab the ace. We'll grab this and put the queen last. That's right. Then we'll grab, we'll just grab this whole stack, I think. There we go. Ooh, Jack, Queen, King on suit, baby. Well done, lad. Would you like to move on to the next part of the plan? Absolutely. Good. Imagine you've just collected the cards from the table. Think about how we arrange them and how they'll be dealt out. Every fourth card will be dealt to me. Thanks to you, they'll have high values. But of course, we can't start dealing just yet. We have to shuffle. Or pretend to, at least. Allow me to introduce you to the art of ineffective shuffling. Drop some cards. Don't leave your stack behind. Our favorable stack is now at the bottom, still in order. The rest of the cards will pile up on top. We eventually want to bring the ordered cards back to the top, undisturbed. To help with that, we need to mark where they are in the deck. One card poking out the deck should do the trick. This is called in-jogging. I suppose this all sounds familiar. The magician taught you well, I see. Well done, now drop the rest of the cards on top. This makes it look like a real shuffle. Good, now you'd offer for me to cut since we're such fair and honorable players. Watch how I use my fingers to find your in joked cards. Then you can combine the cards by putting the bottom pile on top. And that's it. Our ordered cards are ready to be dealt out. Impressive work. You understand the plan then, lad? Gather discarded cards in an order that ensures a favorable deal. Then pretend to shovel before leaning on me to cut the deck. Let me scatter some cards down on the table and you can rehouse it. Okay, and he is first now, so this time we want to go with this. And then we'll go with this too. Then this, let the queen be first. I can't do that. Let that one be queen first, and then we'll go with that. Then, now we're gonna actually do the shuffle. So we wanna do shuffle, in jog, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Locked in, baby. Perfect. The disheveled gatherer. Thought you call it the full harvest. Whatever. We can wrap up in a west before our arrival if you'd like. Great. I will fetch my quill and you can show me your vows. I see the capital. We've arrived. Remember, the stakes are getting high, all that. We cannot be discovered. The Parliament Cafe, Toulouse, France, one hour later. But you are cheating! Please, don't make that face. Sir, I can't explain. I'm truly happy to make your acquaintance. You are? The nobility is full of scammers and cheats, but they are mostly inept amateurs. Real con artists are a rarity, for good reason. Voltaire, come here, meet these gentilhommes. Gentilhommes. I don't know how to say that word. I'm not French. What is it, my young friend? Don't you see I'm too busy for your games? These men are cheats, professional ones. Cheats, you say? Truly corrupted souls, how interesting. Monsieur Voltaire, I respectfully disagree. We simply teach men a justified fear of cars and gambling. And we get paid for this humble service. It does sound like an elastic conception of virtue and morale. Should we play to test your logic? Oh yes, please, cheat again! Yeah, this is what got me. Voltaire is a character in this. Uh, ooh, we could start pretty high, but let's just, let's start at 20. We want to be careful because time runs out real quick in this one. Uh, oops. Speaking of which, oh no, uh, it doesn't really matter. Do the ace first. Um, this one will work. Then I need, there we go. 
Okay, that's a good stack, and then the shuffle is where it really comes in. Do, 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 do. Yeah, doing a smooth shuffle is tricky, but if you get it, it feels very good. Round one. I didn't see anything. You are really good. Could I ask you a question? Please do. Do you play to earn money, or do you play for the mere pleasure of tricking your opponents? I say, each game I play is just a brick in the edifice I'm building. Each trick is an element of a larger plot. I play patiently, slowly, until I can trick the sun. Like you, Monsieur de Voltaire. One letter at a time, one idea at a time. Until the whole world changes. Let's, ooh, do we dare crank it up a little? Uh, let's leave it at 20. Let's leave it at 20 for now, for, for safety. Um, Okay, he is fourth. Oh, this is what, that's the part that really trips me up about this is, uh, yeah, the controls are kind of sticky. If that makes sense. And then, yeah, but it's just like, because they're all in such random places, sometimes it's confusing which one you're actually gonna pick up. Oop, got a shuffle. Ooh, shuffled a little fast there. It actually cut through the animation. All right. Why, this is art. Another round. The expense feels no different to a trip to the theater. And you're, look, and you're in luck, good sir, for we have an encore planned. Right, do I, ooh. I can fleece him for all he's worth right now. It'd be real risky. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. This definitely, like, backfired on me multiple times in the demo, but I'm just gonna go for it. I feel pretty good. All right, here we go. The shuffle will determine it if I can get it. Okay. Here comes the shuffle. Go, in jog. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Yes! Ooh! Ooh, that was close. Oh, that meter creeps up so quick in the shuffle. Yes! Got them all. This little experiment is getting too expensive for me, I'm afraid. I shall go back to my writings. Thank you, gentlemen. It was lightning. I look forward to seeing the sun blush. Good. Sweet. And I believe we haven't opened any more areas yet. This is quite a large, large area in Indeed, but have we unlocked anything new? Uh, oh wait, yeah, yeah, we've unlocked, we've unlocked it right here. Nothing new at the manor yet, so let's, yeah. Parliament Cafe. I received word from our dear Voltaire. We must have impressed him as we've been invited back to the Parliament Cafe. It's time we broadened our repertoire and put on a real show. This strategy will rely on sleight of hand and some skullduggery with a spell deck. To kick things off, I'll slip a second deck into your pocket as you pour me a drink. Then I'll make an excuse for you to get somewhere out of sight. Using the duplicate deck, you'll prepare me a favorable stack before concealing it in the palm of your hand. When you rejoin the table, offer to cut the cards before we resume our game. Seize this opportunity to place the cards you arranged at the top of the deck. And that's the essence of twin deck theft. It's quite simple, really. Let's give it a try. First, let's practice the part where I slip you the duplicate deck, or as I like to call it, the part where I get to have another drink. Don't want to overpour. Thanks, lad. At this point, I'll find a reason to send you away to a back room. Imagine there are five of us playing and I'm the last in the deal. Make a stack that favors me and disadvantages my opponents. 
Uh, yeah, we'll go with two. That wasn't the, oh. Right, 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 right. That wasn't a high-ranking card, lad. Remember, as I'm the last in the deal, I will be dealt the first card you pick. Let's try again. Imagine there are five of us playing and I'm the, yep. Okay, so I gotta... Let's go, king. Great, now push the card to my position in the deal by stacking four low-ranking cows. Say nine. Good nine, so I can remember them. Because the second part of this is where it gets tricky. Well done, now conceal this stack in the palm of your hand so that you're ready to deposit it while cutting. Excellent, I trust you understood all of that. That's the spirit. As you can see, the individual techniques are simple enough, but there's a bit of a catch. Let's pretend that we're moving on to the next round and I've just finished dealing. Yes. What's this? The two of the same card. Ah, uh, what a goof. Uh, you see, you must be mistaken, good sir. Mistaken? There are duplicate cards right here in my hand. A simple printing error, I swear. Do you take me for a fool? You're a cheat. Gendarmes. No, never the gallows. Uh, come back. Comte. Whoa. How did you... What the... Okay. I don't know. So as you can see, adding a handful of new cows to the deck is all well and good until our opponents ends up with duplicates. Which means we're a bit stuck. I don't know why you're smiling. My strategy is flawed. I'm not sure what to suggest now. Ha! You should see your place, lad. I wouldn't have taught you all this just to tell you it doesn't work. We simply need to play with the other deck. There's no duplicates in that one. As you know, it's actually missing a few cows. You can exchange the two decks with the one point trick from before. This will not only relieve us of our problem, but also present us with another stacking opportunity. And this time we can avoid the duplicate card issue. Consider the deck you'll be creating a stack from this time. It'll be missing the cards you used to make a favorable stack with early on. You can make another favorable stack by adding those cards back to the deck they originally came from. So I hope you remember the cards you pumped before. Of course you didn't. You want to know, lad. But in future, you must remember the first cards you formed during this strategy. If you forget, you can always scan the deck for duplicate cards. That sounds rather dull, though. Either way, after removing the duplicates, you'll need to stack them atop the table deck on your return. Don't forget to make sure I get the high cards. It's time to perfect it yet, but that's the plan. The Indiscreet Thief. It's a little fiddly, I know, but I have faith in your abilities, lad. I strongly advise you try the entire strategy without my instruction. What do you say? Good choice. Time to fill my cup, then. Look, 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 look. Good pour. Let me go over here. Oh, yeah, I'm just checking the cards in. Hmm. Check, and then we'll make the others eights. So that I can easily remember which ones to check for. Where's the other eight? Where's the other eight? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, crap! I wasn't paying attention. I just assumed he was the last one again. Oops. I know I said I wouldn't intervene, but your stack is a mess, lad. Would you like to try start again? All right, let me reset the cows for you. Okay. I gotta pay attention to where he is in the actual, like, deal. Okay, he is first. So we want to save, save the jack for last. And we'll go with... 
Let's go with nines this time. Well, nines and whatever high card is near the last nine. So we'll go with king of spades. All right. So now we just need to find the king of spades and the duplicate nines. Everything is going well so far, lads. Now for the tricky part. All right. King of spades and the nines. Uh, nine. Uh, nine of hearts. So I need to keep an eye out for the nine of diamonds and the king of spades. Oh, king of spades. And... Whoops. Uh, reset. Whoops. Reset. Uh, okay. I gotta pull out all the nines. And the king of diamonds. Need a nine of diamonds and a king of spades. And a king of spades. There we go. See, this didn't, wouldn't quite work because you would have to do different. Everybody would be getting the same hand every time. So even though they wouldn't be getting duplicates, they'd be pretty suspicious. Perfect. You seem to have gotten all the duplicate cows and managed to stack them in my favor too. I ought to be able to win the next round without risk of our floor being uncovered. You have this well in hand, I'd say. But, of course, if you like to practice some more, we can. Let's move on. Very well, I'll leave you to your thoughts. Do you feel that? The carriage wheels have it, cobblestone. We are here. The Barm Lament Cafe, Toulouse, France, one hour later. Ah, uh, there he is. My friends, I'm so glad to see you again. What are you doing? I'm practicing while Voltaire is hammering his latest philosophical marvel inside the minds of Boeotians. Our previous encounter revealed a new world to me. Do you know you can cheat a coin flip? You have to put the coin between your index and thumb. Then imprint a quick rotation to the coin by snapping your fingers at the same time as you throw the coin upward. Damn. The theory is that the coin will come back in your hand on the same side as you throw it. It's called Steady Coin. Good luck with that. Mes amis les très what a pleasure. Maître... Maitre Voltaire, I received your letter. How could we be of assistance? Our previous encounter gave me the foundations for a rather unique satire of Leibnizian optimism and its ridiculous consequences. I simply need you for a small experiment. An experiment? What sort of experiment? Inside are three optimistic fools waiting to be slaughtered at your hands. What? Enter, cheat, and ruin them. Each of them has only known the contents of a perfectly comfortable life so far. Either by luck, heritage, or sheer avarice. I want to know what happens when these advantages are gone. What's in it for us? They are rich and gullible. Let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Keep trying it, man. It ain't working for you. Here they are. Reverend, General, Madame, let me introduce you to our adversaries tonight. The little one is much to my taste. I will eat him alive. That young fellow is no match for my strategic mind. I can tell already. Come and join us, comrades. Do you want the white or the black? We're not playing one of your lenient games of chess tonight, General. We're playing cards for money. I, I knew that, of course. It was a figure of speech, a boutard. Do we have to bet money? It's not really a Christian thing to do. 
Reverend, we all know that despite your slender aspect, money is stuffed in all your sacred orifices. It's time to bet. Let's start at 30. Lads, you look down. Get yourself some coffee. Go stretch your legs. We're all friends here. Yeah, let's, uh... Well, let's do it first. Would you be so kind as to refill my glass before you go? Good boy. Now we will go trick the deck. All right, he is there. So let's go. Let's go with fives. I see fives here. Fives, and then we will. Uh, oh, there's a five. And where's the last five? Oh, right at the end. And he will have the king of diamonds. Got it. Feeling better? Please give the deck cut so that the general can deal. All right, what you got? Round one. Well done. That was a brilliant round. Wait, does that mean that I've won? No, you didn't. Monsieur is being sarcastic. Me too! <laughs> right. What are you waiting for? Deal again. Uh, let's... Let's actually play it safe. I think I was a little overzealous in that first round. How goes the sharking of them cards? Good so far? I haven't had a failure, um... I had a failure in the practice round but not in uh, any of the other, not in any of the actual games so far, but who knows, this one this one always kind of trips me up. Uh, at least it did in the, the demo. But uh, hi, Efiora, how are you doing? Hopefully well, hopefully ready for the weekend. Uh, lad, are you well? Young man, you seem to have weak blood. Please, come back when you feel better. Yeah, I will. What a quaffable grip. Boil me some more on your way out, lads. Can't quite get la that word lad is tricky in a French accent. I'm not sure how how it should be said correctly. Alright, I, I hit the button. Come on, come on. Alright. Gotta find the King of Diamonds and the five duplicate heart. Or four duplicate fives. Eh, no, that's not a duplicate. Uh, ah, uh, no, no, I got, well, where's another one? Uh, ooh, spades, diamonds, and then, ah, uh, the king of hearts is all the way at the, the other end. I'm king of diamonds. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, I love this. The second I saw it in a trailer, I was like, that looks so awesome. Let's put some gallo in your cheeks. Go ahead and cut the deck, lad. Like I don't know how familiar are you familiar are you with like sleight of hand and card cheating? Cause like this I mean even playing this you're more familiar because these are all real world techniques. I've lost again. My head spins, my heart stops, my purse dries. All three of them so empty. Hmm. Uh, I think it'd be too risky to bump it up to 50, but I'm not going to be able to get that last 10 from him otherwise. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Do you need another walk, lad? Again? Do excuse the boy. Our carriage ate a goose earlier, and he's been feeling off color ever since. Uh. Oh, how upsetting. Go take a walk, little one. All right. This is for all the beans. Although, I guess I'm not going to have to do another hand, so I won't have to worry about memorizing them. Well, would you look at that? An empty glass. You know what to do, boy. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Four, 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 four. Duck. Um, yeah, a lot of what is included in this game is based on a book called Expert at the Card Table by someone. We I don't know if we have ever found out who, uh, but they... Oh, crap. Reset. Eh. Eh. Uh, hi, card. Jack. Jack's close enough. Um, but it is. it was written by someone under the pen name of S.W. Erdnays. And uh, yeah, these are all legit techniques from either that book or similar books that are, you know, used in magic tricks nowadays. Were used in gambling, but now they don't let you shuffle your own cards and you can't do the, the overhand shuffle like they have in here because it's so easy to cheat with these techniques. Welcome back. Please take a seat. I, my hope, I haven't finished the game yet, but this is my theory is that this guy I'm playing is going to end up being S.W. Erdnays by the end of this game. Like, he's going to write Expert at the Card Table, and that'll be, like, the f end to the game. That's that's my guess. I, I have not played through any more than this. I've lost everything you're cheating! No, I'm not! Not you, Bubblehead Dem! I disagree, madam. Me too. I have studied these fellows, and although they are peculiar, foul play couldn't escape my sagacity. How could it, General? How could it? Farewell, my friends. I hope we will meet again. You owe us a revenge. All right. That was an incredible demonstration. Thank you. We were lucky. I doubt luck plays any part in your game. But shall we confirm this beyond doubt? Be my guest. D'Alembert, do you mind giving this coin to our young friend here? If your friend manages to toss it heads up three times in a row, you win. I will do it. What? But how? Oh boy. Alright. I was able to get this in the demo. Hopefully I can get it again here in the game. Here is the coin. How much shall we bet? 40, full amount, 40. I can afford it. All right. Heads. Here we go. Oh, nope. Too early. Oh, no, I already guffed it. Whoo, okay, I lucked out. Bravo, let's try again. I guess it is still 50-50, even if you mess it up. Only if we double the bet. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Ooh, there we go. Nailed it. All right. That's magic. Another try. All right. I will double the bet. Okay, here we go. Got to get it. Oh, right in the center. That's how it's done. I don't know what spell you cast on that coin, but I accept defeat. Nice. We will take our leave now. How can you win, and yet, I pity both of you, my friends. Trying to skew chance is the best way to be its instrument. You did it, didn't you? The steady coin trick? Just luck. It's just luck. My apprentice continues to surprise me. You cannot help it, dear Comte. Our generation will bury yours in the history books. In the demo, I managed to fail this because I forgot to actually rotate to... Ah, right? I pra I tried practicing this after seeing it in the demo, and it kind of works. It's, it's tricky, but I was able to get it, like, I think three quarters of the time I could get the, the right thing. I, I need more practice to really do it. All right, so that is the Parliament Cafe finished. The manor doesn't open up until later. The hospice is another bit of the story. We could go to the barn. Well, you know what? I'm going to actually take a quick break uh, to use the bathroom, and then I will be back in just a minute. If you have a specific one between the barn and the hospice that you guys want me to see, just let me know in the chat, and I will go there after. But in any case, don't go anywhere. Don't touch the air tile. I'll be our back with more Card Shark in just a minute.
All right. Hello, everyone. I am back. And, uh, yep, looks like we have a vote for the barn. So let's go for the barn, which has Vichy. Later that day. All right, lad. They should be here soon. Why, our opponents for this evening. Do you remember Toulouse? Those three gamblers with unlimited funds and an unquenchable thirst to lose that money. That sort of golden goose doesn't show up very often. It would be criminal to let them go. So I've organized a game with them. Hmm. Shh. Here they come. Think about this strategy you want to apply. Right, this is the first part where you get to, like, kind of decide for yourself. Dante, you seem particularly jovial tonight. Don't think it matters. I'm taking the pot. I would hit the card table just as I'd win on the battlefield. Always pressing, never retreating. And rarely sober. Let's see if those boasts have any truth to them. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna go like that. Uh, I'll start at this notch? Let's start at 60. Oh, he has infinite money. Okay. Ooh, buddy. Uh... Disheveled Gatherer. Uh, ooh. I think I'll, I'll go with the indiscreet fingers. I think that's the one that I have the uh, least difficulty with. Okay, so that was two of diamonds. Jack of diamonds. Ace of hearts. Okay, so we're going for the ace of hearts. That's two fingers down. And up. Alright. As soon as they give me the opportunity. Yeah, that's the part that you re yeah, the timer goes really fast. But uh I had such a poor hand. No wonder I've lost this round. Mine was no better. I hope your good fortune will come back soon. Your words of comfort are cheap, Comte. Uh, yeah, let's keep it at 20. It's getting a little dis suspicious. Let's switch over to the Battle of Gaols. Let's, ooh, that's three diamonds. Uh, well, this way. Oh, just diamonds? That's it? Okay, I thought I had to do the amount. I was wasting time. Oh, Bishop's Bottom lost again. Bishop's Bottom? What sort of insult is that? Not everyone is as comfortable blaspheming as loudly as you. Nice work, lad. Now let's quit with Swastilia Ed. I think I could go for one more. As you wish. Fortune favors the brave after set all. I think, mmm, let's do, tw let's do 20. It's the one I'm the worst at, but let's do the Disheveled Gatherer. Uh, there's three, uh, okay. So I need to pick one of these. And then this one. Oh no, I messed it up. Oh no. Oh gee, I mean, he still has the best hand. Come on, man. Uh-oh. Is she treating? He is. He's treating. How dare you. In God's name, I'm not. Not you, Reverend. The General is talking about the Comte. General, give me your saber, if you please. Please, I don't want blood on my robe. Fear not, Reverend. I will cut their heads very neatly. Well, dip. I pushed my luck. Oh. Whoa, what's going on here? Hello? Oh. The Lady of Bones is so weary. Death needs to rest. Up on the high throne, the regal seat of the... Why are you here? 
Uh... Why don't you speak? R really? I can speak? I, I can speak! How, how is that possible? I decide on the laws of my kingdom. You are in limbo. Am I dead? Not quite. Your life dangles by a single thread. Your soul is made of such surprising matter. It's sweet and mellow. I can mold it how I want. Don't touch my soul. Oh no, that would be quite inappropriate of me. Yeah, I didn't see this in the de I, I don't know if this is in the demo. I never lost at the barn. Um, so this is really interesting. I can do better than that. Listen, I can't change your world, but I can build it back as it was. I can bring you to before your untimely demise. See, I've already restored the money you had before dying. Obviously, bringing you back to life is going to cost you something. Obviously, what is your price? I want your time. It's 7.54 p.m. Those are numbers, not time. I cannot give you time. Then I must eat your soul. Wait, do you play cards? Ha! Yes, let's play a game of shadows. And if you win, I will not eat your soul. And I will give you another chance at life. Okay. Perfect. And it's a win for you. A shame to bid you adieu so soon after welcoming you back. But knowing you, you'll be back here soon enough. Until then, farewell, young soul. Wake up. Are you all right? Calm down, all is well now. I was scared. You fainted, one of your seizures. How do you feel? Would you like to go back to the camp? No. Is your call? Have a rest. We will be there soon. Okay, so yeah, it just resets you back to the beginning. Okay, I need to not be quite as risky this time. I, I was a little... That was a little much. Alright, lad, they should be here soon. Okay, this is the... Same as before. <laughs> Not that I do love all this dialogue and everything, it's just if I'm, I read it all, it's going to really wreck my throat by the end of this. Uh, let's go with 20. Well, we'll play it a little safer this time. Use the indiscreet fingers. All right, two of diamonds. Jack, jack of hearts. It's usually at least an ace. Still jack of hearts. Come on. Come on. Anything higher than that? Queen of Diamonds. Okay. And then the queen is... Lay her gentle on the table. Okay, so this technique is the easiest, but it uses up the most time. I had such a poor hand. No wonder I've lost this round. Mine was no better. I hope your good fortune will come back soon. Your words of comfort are cheap, Comte. Let's, yeah, let's bump it up, bump it up to 20. Uh, let's, let's do the disheveled gatherer, but do it correct this time. He is fifth. So I need, I need something to fill it in a little bit. There we go, got him something good. And then... No, wait. I want this one. That's the one. Perfect. Yeah, the thing that always throws me about this is losing track of exactly how much it... Whoops. Don't want to dawdle on the uh, shuffle. It sucks up time real quick. Yeah, I just always lose track of where he's at in that. You 
may have won this battle, Compton, but I will win the war. Oh, do shut up. And let's do another 20. And, uh, yeah, the bottle of gals. Looks like three spades. Or no, I don't need the number for this one. I've won this round. So you did, Comte. Are you certain I didn't win this time? I had an ace, though. If only you had wits as well! Nice work, lad. Now let's quit with we're still your head. Yeah, let's let's play it safe this time. Let's try and be a little too sneaky. Ah, uh, that's the time. Do excuse us, but we have quite the journey to make. Until next time. Alright, survived that time. Yeah, I didn't know you could straight up die and then play a game with death. That's a that's a wild move. Uh I think I'm able to do that again. Let's go to the hospice, though. The, yeah. Put down your journal, lad. I owe you an explanation. You guess uh, we're not traveling together by chance. Hmm? I have only good reasons, believe me. Whoops. Excuse me. France is on the verge of tremendous change. I believe we can make a fortune just by listening closely. You see, I am investigating a secret called the 12 bottles of milk. One of the witnesses to this secret is Henri de Darmides, a former musketeer of Louis XV. If he's a friend of the Baroness, then he must be a gambler. Do you have any questions before we discuss our strategy? Uh, yeah, let's... Louis the Fifteenth. A secret wedding could be the ugly truth that topples the monarchy. And I have reasons to believe that Louis the Fifteenth was married in his youth. Something else? Uh, McGregor. McGregor is on your man. Well, he's a politician. Otherwise known as a successful con artist. He has the ears, and some say the signature of Louis the Fifteenth. Something else? Uh, what about you? Me? I'm very well, lad. If not a little gouty. Thank you for asking. Something else? Henri Daramitz. Dar I'm having terrible trouble with his last name. Henri has retired to a hospice near Bergerac. He used to be a well somewhere. Else. Now he's, well, you'll just see for yourself. Something else? Excellent. Let's talk strategy then. The idea here is to steal an S early in the game before faking a shuffle and ensuring is dealt to me. Let's practice the first part. Sticky hand. As you discard your hand, tuck an S into your palm and steal it. Now, oh yeah, I didn't even learn this technique yet that I used on the on Lady Death. Hmm. Interesting. Whatever. Nobody will notice the incorrect count if you do it smoothly. Uh, yep. Perfect. My god, I feel like a sneeze coming on, but it's just not happening. Huh? No, not yet. Smooth as butter. Shall we proceed? There we go. Yeah. Excuse me. Move on. Time for step two. Your next job is to arrange the deck whilst pretending to shovel. Now I know what you're thinking. You've done this before and the Comte drank so much he can't remember. But no, listen closely, lad. Begin by transferring a generously sized pack into your other hand. Good, now offset me for being dealt fourth by dropping three cards, one at a time. Yep, drop, drop, drop. Good. Nicely done. Now enjoy a card so that we can restore these cards to the top of the deck. Now we have a marker. Drop the rest of the cards on top. 
So far so familiar? Well, here is where we depart from the beaten path. You can't always rely on me to cast the deck. So this time you'll be taking the matter into your own hands. Square the cards using the injunct marker to create a small gap in your stack. Now we need to restore our stack. Start shuffling through again. Make sure to transfer everything before the gap and then stop. Your net is a stack we arranged, so drop everything else on top all at once and we are done. There we go. Now let's see if it all worked. See, yeah, like that, that's a little awkward because we didn't have to actually do anything interesting gameplay wise. That's because they're being true to the actual technique. They're, they're telling you how to actually do it in real life. But in terms of gameplay, you're just shuffling. You didn't need to do anything special. So this next one should be an ace. Voila. I mean, you're just going to tie because there was another ace. It seems you've understood that shuffling variation. We can go over it again if you'd like. Excellent. Let's see how you fail without my helping hand. All right, we got the ace. Time it correct. Bam. Perfect. Then we're gonna do this. And we're gonna uh, in jog. There we go. Uh, whoop, whoop. There we go. Bravo! The stolen gold. I wish you could do the shuffling with the D-pad, but whatever. The analog stick's precise enough. Would you like to run through it again? No. Let's rest and prepare for our ravel. We can do a bit of relaxed grammar practice. Don't make that face at me, lad. It's for your benefit. Wake up, boy. Wake up. We've arrived. Yes, yes, yes. Bergerac, France. Later that day. Zebra, my sweet angel, where are you? My bones are weary. Your gentle touch... I am here, Henry. Er, uh, Henri. These two gentlemen would like to talk to you. Good day to you, my lord. Your lovely niece told us you were resting. I hope we're not bothering you. To what do I owe this visit? Should I tell you over a game of... Um, should I tell you over a game of cards? You, me, your niece, and my quiet friend. We make a fine party. Let's dance, then. Please, have a seat. Okay, if you insist. There goes those nuns. Uh, oh, I can't raise the bet here. That's fine. Uh, do, 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 grabbed. Okay. Bam. Perfect. And we're gonna... Uh, 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 in jog. And then we just shuffle it all off. Oh, yep. Just keep going. A good friend of mine told me an excellent story. Really? Pray tell. Is the story of these 12 bottles of milk. That sounds like a good story. Did you say 12 bottles? Who, who told you about that? Someone that likes to play cows as well. Theodore. What did he say? Theodore von Neuhoff. How interesting. I have nothing to tell you. Shall we carry on playing? Y yes, cer certainly, yes. All right, let's see if I can do a little smoother this time. And... Pop! And we just... Do it. And he is fourth. And we in-jug, and then we just keep on shuffling. And we keep on shuffling. Nice. If you have an ace every time, they're gonna catch on, though. My money. Where is it gone? Did you, did you win, monsieur? My purse is light as a feather. I need to retire. Mais, monsieur, our game is too young to leave so early. 
It is too bad. Deborah, I... It's the last time I help you, Henri. He will ru ruin you. Nonsense. We are your friends. Henri, you know that. So you're acquainted with Theodore. How is the old rascal? He's up to his neck in debt. Thankfully, he's a little fellow. Is he still in Germany? I don't know. He calls himself the Count of Caprera now. Nothing like nobility to discourage the dead owls. <laughs> Indeed. Shall we play a game? If I win again, you will tell me the secret you share with Theodore. I would rather die than give you what you want. Let's not be dramatic. We shall play and you will speak. Oh, ooh, ooh. oh pop. All right, and then we make it second in jog, and then we just shuffle it off. You just shuffle it off. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle it off. There we go. Uh, oh. You're done, old man. Now tell me your story. Do it, and I will spare a hundred livres so your niece can keep wiping your ass for a while. It all happened in February 1723, near Paris. This way. Make way for the king. Sophie. Ew, on the blade. Well, I think that's a rapier, so they don't have... It's, they're not sharp on the edges. Sophie. Sophie Dabigny. No, you will not hear one more word. I swore an oath to the king. Oh, you guys could have stopped him earlier. He was clearly leading up to this. Sophie, what happened to Sophie? How could I be the last one standing? Where have you all gone, my friends? He's dead, old fool. Dramatic and incontinent to the end. Let's go. There's nothing left for us to do here. I wonder where Theodore is hiding. Uh oh. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, got the hospice. Barn open to us, and I believe the manor. Yes, in the or is the barn open to us? It looks like we'd just be going to do the same thing if we went to the barn. So yeah, let's let's head to the manor, which will catch me up to where the demo ended. Although I've already seen a little more content with that death scene. I received a letter inviting us to Beauregard. It seems we didn't trounce the Baroness roundly enough last time. I do feel slightly guilty, but we cannot leave our fortune to rot. That would be criminal. Since you were playing my valet last time, we will stick to that. Very good. Here is what we are going to do. We will improve the trick we played last time. This time, I want you to signal me the highest card in the Baroness's hand, along with its value and suit like before. The way you pick up the glass of wine will tell me the value of the highest card. The higher you hold the glass, the stronger the card you'll signal. Let's try it out. Let's start with the Ace of Clubs. This is the strongest card, so take the glass by the rim, then wipe the suit as usual. Validate. And then we're gonna do, do. There it is. Let's try for the King of Owls, one below the S. Validate, and then we're gonna. King of Hearts. Now, Zinknil, the Queen of Spades, one beneath the King, take the glass by the stem. Validate. Uh. He said clubs, right? Nope. Oops. 
Is it the spades? Okay, okay. There we go. Now it has the jack of diamonds. Take the glass by the base. Do, 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 all the way at the bottom. And we're going to whoop, whoop. Whoop. There it is. Good. Shall we try with you spying my aunt? Or go over it again? Let's imagine you bought me a glass of wine. Remember, you need to signal me the highest card in my aunt. Uh, it's the king of spades. Oops. Don't spill wine on the player. That's the best way to get caught. Uh, it was the king of spades. You seem to know what you're doing. Do you want to practice more or should we move on? Let's talk about the fun part then. Allow me to introduce you to Twin Deck Stack. While you're in the other room, I will need you to stack the deck so I can get some strong cards. That's all there is to it. Anyway, stacking a deck is where the real cheat can define the course of the whole game. You've proven you've done it before, so we won't waste time watching you perform it in isolation. So all that's left now is to see you pull off the whole strategy without my intervention. Take it away, lad. Oh, right, right. We should practice how I can excuse you. My glass is empty, boy. All right, we need to give him the first card, so we're going to go with queen and twos. Do, 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 do's. Uh... Wait, no, I need another strong card, so we'll go with the queen. The black queens. And the twos. There we go. And he's got the jack of spades. Do, 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 do. All right. Bravo, lad. The bottle of burgundy. Not that different from the bottle of Bordeaux. A fine Bordeaux. Would you like to spend more time practicing? Very well. I will have a nap. Wake me when we arrive. We are getting close to the manor. The weather outside is terrible. Do I hear thunder? Espalion, France, later that day. Baroness! My fragile butterfly, where are you? Comte de Saint Germain, here you are finally. I was waiting. For what? Who are you? Where is the Baroness? So many questions. So little time left. My name is Simikudza Simikorba. Citarain, the reu reunion, the reunionese. This is a trap. McGregor hired me to kill you. McGregor, so soon. Whoa! Come there, a legend like you must have famous last words. I'll look away. You seem to know me rather well. Who doesn't know the Comte de Saint Germain? Famous adventurer, crafty alchemist, fact noble moon. And soon a pitiful corpse. What a shame. And just when I found it. Found what? I cannot tell you that. Is a secret. You're not in a position to keep secrets from us. Indeed. Well, I know how to craft invaluable pearls from common ingredients. I'm pretty sure. That, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. Lost the accent. Hold on. I'm pretty sure the kitchen of this manor has all we need. Show us. What do I get in return? A final game of cards. Very well. 
Mas this stone can gather the ingredients for the alchemical process while we play. And brilliant that deal. And bring us bring back some wine. Lad, mix a bottle of vinegar with a pinch of black powder, two eggs, and a spoon of camphor. Go, son, and don't mess this up. You scared me. What are they doing? I managed to hide before they entered. But I remember you. You were here a few weeks ago. Oh, mon dieu, what are we going to do? I'm sure you're a very competent young man. Listen, this won't end well unless we work together. Your master is stalling the inevitable, but it won't work for long. We need to help him. I don't have all the ingredients your master said, but I can prepare something that will smell terribly. I should keep the ruffians out of this room. Go keep things calm and I'll try to think up a plan. Okay. Hello. Got a queen of hearts. So just gotta, well, we gotta pour him a drink first. The queen of hearts, whoops, validate it, and then wipe. Oh no, I did the king on accident. Come there, I'm disappointed. I am not to believe the promises of someone as inept as you. It's okay, letting him win. Gives me a little extra room. The smell of my little recipe is making me sick. The bottle is finished already? That would explain the way they are talking to each other. The Baroness would be horrified. Okay, I gotta give it to him last. So let's go with a uh, sixes. Six and uh, the red aces, I think. Six is another six and the ace of diamonds finalized. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing is, yeah, the meter like went down because he was like, well, there's no way they're cheating if that. Why would you let yourself lose? Unless you were some kind of dunce. It is the queen of spades. I gotta do it correct this time. Okay, I gotta go all the way down to spades. And then, yep. Or to, all the way down to queen, I should say. There we go. What a win. Very impressive, Comte. Did you see Bertrand? Well, I. Of course, you didn't see anything, you off. Too busy drooling down your own shirt. Comte, I hope your solvent is making good progress with my pals. Certainly smells terrible. But try go check out my pals in the other room. I will be sick if I go in there. You're such a pathetic lump. No need to bother this young man. It's much too early to see anything. Fine, fine. Let's play a game with your servant thanks to my pals. Yep. All right, he's got the king of spades. Do, 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 do. Whoop. And there it is. This is far more fun than playing with my dimwit companions. Let's go again. <laughs> this voice hurts very much, but I know I'm not going to have to do it for very much longer, so... Whoa! That's a big bet. I don't know what you're doing, but I wasn't born yesterday. That's a duplicate deck in your hand. You're a cheat, aren't you? Alright, so I gotta get the sixes. All the duplicate sixes. And the duplicate red aces. Oh, excuse me. Oh no, where's the spade? Where's the six of spades? Uh, there it is. And I need the ace of hearts. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Ace 
Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts. Oh, there it is. Nope, I didn't grab it. I didn't grab it. Oh no, no! Oh, this is bad. Sid Rain treats his poor aid worse than a dog. A mutiny is bound to happen. Perhaps we should quicken the process a little? I forgot to actually put the ace in. Ah! Uh, the king of diamonds. Boy, are you... F Boy, are you forgetting someone? Come pour me a drink. I don't think that'll work because I messed up the deck, but uh... Uh, ooh, it was the King of Diamonds? Yes, okay. Now that's enough. Your resist I was looking at poor trans cows was the poor the wine. You'll die here now, you little cheat. <coughs> oh my god. You've lost an impressive amount of money, I agree. But why do you think I'm the one who cheated you? Perhaps consider what's going on beneath your own nose, like in Botran's pockets. Eh? Botran, come here. It's that deck. Alas, it seems your accomplice has grown resentful. Oh, jeez. Time to duck and cover, baby. Ah. Let me hit myself with a little bit of this. Yeah. Ah. That was a close one. I'm impressed. You intuitively understood my plan. Make a one day fail apprentice, son. Uh, I asked about the maid before, so I'll ask the recipe here. My knowledge of alchemy is subtle. I listed a few ingredients I knew to give you time to prepare the deck in peace. Let's leave quietly. We don't want to draw too much attention. And that is where the demo ended, so let's keep going. The Child, Chapter 2. All men are by nature free. You have therefore an undoubted liberty to depart wherever, whenever you please, but will have many and great difficulties to encounter in passing the frontiers. Voltaire, in Candide. Well, like, indeed. Hey, 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 hey. Camp of the Cascarots. Agen, France, one hour later. All right, this is unexplored territory for me. I was not expecting MacGregor to be after us so quickly. I hope the Comte and the boy are safe. I'm sure they are. Oh, jeez, excuse me. Dear Comte, what a relief. Baroness, your ear, my butterfly. I was so scared for you, my little pamplemus. Melchior, my valet, told me you were ambushed at my manor. We are fine now, but it was a near thing. Please, young man, look after this old fool for me, will you? He is reckless. Now, young man, you must have had quite a fright. Not at all. No, believe me, you should be scared. The Comte is a dangerous man. You need to be extremely careful. With him, you will enter a world of riches and power. But the higher you go, the more danger you will meet. You may not believe the ridiculous Baroness, but... <gasps> At least believe your friend, Radio! I'm not the only one who will play tricks on you in the... Or, well, I'm not the only one who will play tricks on you in the future. You need to be prepared. I am part of a small but very powerful group of people who want the Comte to succeed. You almost got killed in the manor. Our enemies are quicker than I expected. We won't let them surprise us again. The Comte... The Comte is a good cheat, but he doesn't know everything. You need to learn your own tricks. Take this. Hmm? What's this? 
it a mirror? What did what'd you give me? Some kind of powder compact? Hello there, lad. I have good news. The magician asks around about Theodore's thereabouts. He's hiding in Corsica. I don't really like the idea of visiting that godforsaken island either. But if we want to know the truth about the 12 bottles of milk, this is our next stop. But before we go, a couple of things. Firstly, we need to share our gains with the magician. I will give what I can, you should do. Oh, and one more thing. The magician mentioned he had some kind of challenge for you. You should speak with him. You better believe I will. What's he got? What's he got for me? Baroness, the evening night is so enchanting. Shall we walk? Hello. How was the harvest this time? The Comte said he would leave 560 livials. What can you spare yourself? Well, at least that much. I'm gonna go up to what will upset the Comte. In fact, I will go. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll toe the line here. Yeah, well, well, mm, yeah, I'm going to do a little more, make myself look good. We appreciate it. It might not look like it, but we will change the world with this money. I promise you. We've been contacting other camps. Our money is used in all of the south of France now. Not much left for us, but we're happy with that. You contributed 1,300 liver to our cause. While you're here, would you like to play a game? It's a very simple game to improve your dexterity. I want you to toss cards in my hat. That's it. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, it's just... Okay, it's just getting the correct tension. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gentle, gentle. Ooh. Oh, just barely. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Ah, tip. Ah, no. See, this isn't how you would do this. You actually, if you want to throw a card. I mean, there's multiple ways to throw a card. No. You don't seem focused. Would you like to keep practicing? Yeah, great, I'll let you continue in peace. Um, yeah, you wouldn't do, like, a flicky like that, although there are some techniques. Hold on, I have some cards here. That's a good one. Okay, uh, well, I need the whole deck. Here, let me go to face cam. Uh, <laughs> if you do poorly enough, the next mini game will be a 52 pickup. That's correct. Okay, let me see if I can remember how to do this, so I'm a little out of practice, but if you do this correct... Hold on. So you, uh, you gotta flick it around here, and then, ah, nope, not quite. Hold on. I gotta remember how the grip goes. I think it was this. So you gotta, so you gotta go around here. You flick the card around. Nope. It's like a. Tr I used to practice this like all the time, just sitting in my computer. I've done it on streams before, so I'm not BSing. Okay, well, I can't remember how to do that if you want to flick it, but if you want to actually throw a card, you put it between your forefinger and your middle finger, do a curl, and then like that. I'm not particularly good at it because I haven't practiced it enough, but if you practice that pretty often, you can get like some great distance, power, and accuracy. But yeah, you just like that. An AVJ, well, yeah, I I appreciate it. It's part of it is that I have grown out my uh, sideburns like he has. Um, I think in a wide shot, it would probably be pretty spot on. I don't know. I don't know if in a close up it would really trick anybody. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, 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 uh. 
Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh. oh, it's so delicate. Ah, uh, uh. uh, oh, a little off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Ah, there's one. Uh... Oh, there we go. There's another one. How many can I do here? Come on. Uh, uh, focus, focus. It's like a golf game, but it's more... It involves a little more dexterity. In golf games, it's always like it just goes up and down and you gotta time it. But here, you gotta actually, like, you gotta, like, actually hit the tension just right. Nope. Ah, dip. No, 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 no. That's true. Well, my hair's a little shorter than his right now, too. I'd have to grow it out a little bit. And my hair is, like, uh, a lot curlier, so as it grows out, it's not going to look quite as the same. Oh. Oh, yeah, it does wiggle a little bit. I didn't even notice that. So you just got to kind of... It is still a timing thing. That's probably to um. That's probably to simulate you know the kind of little like, little wiggles and shakes, of just human dexterity. Like your hands can be pretty steady, but it's never gonna be one hundred percent. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, I need to catch up on AVGN. I'm many years behind. I think the last thing I watched of his was like his Double Dragon review. And I guess I watched the movie, but you know. I do love his stuff. Because the thing is like, yeah, the swearing and all that is like really over the top and juvenile. But like he is a really, really good filmmaker. And he is still pretty funny. Like he swears, but he does it in a way that's like creative and kind of interesting. Um... Uh, uh. I really liked, if you haven't watched it, his series Board Games. Like, I'm also already a board game enthusiast. Like, you can see behind me, those those shelves back there are, like, my... I think I have, like, almost 130 board games in my collection right now. But, uh, yeah, I loved, you know, that character and just seeing some of those classic games. Although, a lot of those games are actually much more rare because they weren't as popular as a lot of hobby board games are. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he's like, he's really pretty charismatic. He's a decent writer. His filmmaking is great. Like, he is, he knows how to frame a scene pretty well. Ah, seven. I'll leave it at seven. I think enough for now, I see. Before you try again, let me pick up these cards. You wouldn't want to lose any. I assume you want to keep practicing? Uh... Very well, then. If you ever want to give it another go, come and find me. I'm gonna guess there's probably, like, some kind of reward for getting the whole deck. But that would take so long. Yeah, that's... And then you see, like, Mike Matei's videos on his channel. And it's, like, it makes it clear how the same kind of humor with a different person doing it that doesn't have quite as much charisma. It's like, oh. Yeah, this isn't as good. Ugh. But whatever. I think Mike Matei bounces off of James really well, but Mike on his own is like, eh, I don't know if how well that works. Shall we finish up Yale now, or would you like to carry on with the magician? Good. We're moving right along. Gotta get down the highway. Baths. Okay, that's the ship. Let's see what the these baths are about. Well, actually... The barn will get us more money, but we don't really need that much money right now. Hospice is still something locked off. 
Did all the manor. Did the parliament's cap. Oh, right. They're white now. Got it. Let's check out the baths. Give it a shot. You're heading to Isle Le Bons. The baths attract all sorts of riches. It's a wonderful hunting ground. Be very careful, though. If the rewards are greater, so are the consequences of being caught. At the rich man's table, their views are slightly different. Oh, what'd you say here? Uh. Yeah, I mean, that was, I mean, me too. I was in, like, junior high, and I was, I didn't have a camera or anything or any way to capture gameplay, so I tried doing written reviews, and it was just, I clearly did not understand that. I wrote them on, like, MySpace, I think. So they probably are completely gone now, which is fine. They were terrible. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people just didn't get that, like, it, it's not just swearing, it's not all of this, it's like, it is a genuine level of skill, and just, like, technical skill, too. Like, he was able to capture gameplay back at a time when, like, that was very difficult. They didn't have Elgatos and stuff. Like, you had to, you had to get, like, specialized equipment, you had to know how to actually handle it. It was way more difficult back then. Alright, um... They will always want to cut the deck themselves to the sweat cheat owls. So what are we going to do? Play fairly? Are you joking? No, no, no. We're going to ask our innocent opponent to be kind enough to cheat for us. First, you'll use a technique I call top drag to stack me some S's. Then you'll use a false refill shuffle to maintain that stack. Whoops. Ah, I wanted to see how that looked. And then to drive it home, we'll have our opponent seal their ill fate with an innocent cut. Ah, uh -uh. if you will sat any closer, I'd softly wrap you on the knuckles. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's prepare the stack first. To perform top drag, you need to scan through the deck and arrange it in my favor. Think about how the cards will fall when you start dealing. In this case, there are three of us, so I'll get every third card. A pair of aces should be enough for me to win. Arrange that for me. Scan through the deck, releasing cards one by one with your thumb. When you find an ace, grab it. Good. At the moment, the ace is being dealt to the first player, you. But we want it dealt to me. Grab two more cards, you offset the ace, so that is dealt to me. Great. Now that the ace is properly offset, and the cards you're holding moves them to the top of the deck. Perfect. As it stands, you've arranged a card for each of us, mine being an S. One S alone isn't much of an assurance that I can win, though, lad. Repeat what I've taught you so that we're all dealt two cards and mine make a pair of S's. Yeah, this one seems like it's going to be pretty tricky. Whoops. Oh, you can't go back. Whoops. There it is. Secured. Excellent. False refill shuffle is... Well, it's a false refill shuffle. Begin by cutting the deck into two piles. As with most false shuffle techniques, you'll begin in earnest, making sure both halves are interleaved. But look closely, notice the stack in the top half of the deck? Keep an eye on that stack as you shuffle, you don't want it getting mixed up. We're not here to play honestly. The key to keeping that stack safe is to release cards from the top half of the deck slower than the bottom. That way, by the time you get to the end of the bottom cards, the stack is undisturbed on the top half. Simply drop the stack on top of the pile, and that's it. Have a go. Oh, whoops. Well, that was very sloppy, but it worked. Now push the cards together and look at your stack safe unsound. Well, I think you've got the hang of sets now, lad. But it's fiddly, so we can go over it again if you'd like. Yeah, I'm gonna try that one again. Good to be sure. Yeah, let me set up a stack for you. False riffle, yep, yeah, we went through it. Ah, dip. I did it wrong. <sighs> Hold on. Alright. Alright, and. 
Ah, dip. Yeah, this is tricky. I mean, yeah, they gotta, like, make it a little easier for the sake of gameplay. Ah! Okay. Let's try this again. Nope. How am I... Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm just pushing up. Is it legitimately like you just have to do it really light? Or you have to wait? Oh, okay. Let me try that one more time. I think I can get it. I think I'll just wait until a big enough stacks of like six cards. Oops, what the heck was that? Was that like drift? Uh oh. I was definitely not hitting it. There we go. You just gotta wait until that's like a big enough stack has gone through. Ah, uh, let's move on. Very well, let's take a look at the innocent card. This simple yet dastardly technique allows us to control exactly where the card gets made. It's not dissimilar to the cut that follows an ineffective shuffle. Except this time the opponent makes a cut. I'll be sat back enjoying my wine. Let's give it a try. So I start by dropping a chunk of cards. Now we jog a card. Great, now shuffle the rest of the deck on top. Whoops. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't know what I did there. <laughs> yeah, I messed something up there. Which is they naturally end up cutting where the bent card is. What a fool! Now restores the stack by bringing the deck back together! Perfect! Well done! Now it's time for you to rehearse the entire strategy without my intervention. Okay, uh... uh well, we'll just do two weird ones and then the ace. Am I doing this wrong? What's going on here? God. It's either crazy fast or super slow. <laughs> ah. Yeah, this is crazy fiddly. Finalized. Nope, I messed up. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but let's just go for it. Something has gone wrong. Uh, oh, well. Lucked out there. There we go. Uh, finalize? I thought it was like a, a left stick thing. Nope, messed it up again. Ah, dip dang Daru. <laughs> oh. I guess if you hit A, it just doesn't shuffle the deck. Yeah, sure. Okay. 
Oh no, he's... Ah, he's second. Hold on. God, it keeps resetting it. Give me the ace. Give me the ace. Where is it at? And, uh, yeah, just a five should be fine. All right, stack is secured. Oh boy, yeah, that one's gonna be real tricky. Excellent work. The Oblivious Stooge. I think you're ready, but if you want to practice more, I won't stop you. Uh, I'll move on. Goose, there's no need to tire yourself needlessly. I must say, I'm looking forward to the bass as much as the coin. It's been too long for me, and evidently a lifetime for you. This isn't a laughing matter. You dauphin, a cocktail of poverty and fear. Rude. A Le Bon, France, later that day. Hello? Sir, could we join you at this table? Yes, certainly. Please do. I don't think we've been introduced. Charles Lagan. Comte de Saint-Germain, Adel Noble on the road. And my son, Eugene. Excuse me, he's not very talkative. Let's play. Let's, well, let's keep the bet low because I'm probably going to mess this up. Uh, yep, and then. Yes. Uh, Jack. Three. It keeps resetting it. Stop. Jack. There. Good enough, dude. He'll win. I'm just, I just want him to win. No problem with the shuffle, baby. I'm the shuffle master. Round lot, how is the lot? I, we had the better hand though. You didn't do well. I'll give you another chance. How did I loot? Nah, whatever. So it has to be literally an ace and nothing else. Okay. Yeah. That works. Finalized. Right, and then, yep. What is this racket? Oh. Hello? I... I, uh, oh, oh, it's this guy again. Uh, crap, what voice did I give him at the beginning? I found you, miscreant. Seize them! No, you will do no such thing. Really, and who are... But, uh, the god, my apologies. I'm very sorry to have interrupted your game. Matre? Yes, I'm the king's prosecutor at the Toulouse Parliament. Colonel, cease your infernally silly faces and join us. But these people are cheats and murderers. You can always arrest them later. We have a game to finish. Ah, uh, very well then.
Uh, he is second still. And then three, and then uh, four, and one. And then we gotta find another ace. I wish I'd quit hitting up just the tiniest bit and resetting it. And then, uh, yeah, 10, 6, queen, five, uh, no! Oh, I dipped it up. Hold on, I gotta do two, then the ace. Oh, come on, come on, dude. It's so hard to control. No, I messed it up. Uh, dip. No, nope, finalize. I messed it up. Whatever. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, nope, no. Nope. Dip. Look, sir, they cheated. I saw them. It's indeed troubling. Arrest them. Oh, is this why? Well done. Do you have an arrest warrant? Of course. We are innocent. Accuse. What? Are you saying Colonel Gabriel is the cheat? Maitre Legon, that's precisely what we are saying. How dare you? What is that ace doing on your chair, Colonel? I, no, I, enough. This is most problematic, Colonel. I cannot in good conscience let you take these men. You're free to leave now, or I will find you again. Oh boy. Narrowly avoided that one. Whoo, that was close. Okay. Let's... Hmm. Oh, let's go... Ah, do I want to head off to the ship? You know what? Okay, yeah. Well, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm glad it's at least uh, a regular thing. Uh, I'm gonna read the journals actually really quick, and then I think I'm gonna call it a night. My voice is feeling a little tired, but I will go for quite a bit longer tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. We'll be sure to tune in tomorrow for that, but uh, in the meantime, let's check out the journal. From the top. Comte de Saint Germain, tavern. Strange day, normal start. Must pee in terrible mood. How you feel, woman? A smart man, sir, I tell it. Comte de Saint Germain is his name is. If you not, I will help him play cards. Must be you cannot find out. Excited. It was worth paying for his wine. Girdle Gabriel, tavern. Something awful will happen. Must be is dead. Couldn't do anything. Does not bother a count so much. Finally leaving this dreadful place. My dream has come true, but what's the price of it? The magician, Cascarot Camp. I write this from a Cascaro Camp. Smells like smoke. I draw Colonel Gabriel. He killed Miss P. The Comte says Gabriel will blame me for his crime. Also hide from someone named MacGregor. At least I am learning lots like a new trick from a man named Renio. The Comte says I've been spelling his name wrong. The oh. Is that Comte? Oh, should should it just be pronounced Comte? I guess there's no there's no accent, so that makes sense. Saranus, in. I sat at the table during a game. We cheated a gentleman. Saranus, all that cheating is making me uneasy. The Comte said it's fair game if the player already has too much money. The smell of hops and warm food made me long for home. Baroness de Beauregard, manor. I always knew the Comte had secret reasons for our journey, but not this. Whispers of scandal involving King Louis XV and twelve bottles of milk? We met the Baroness of B in her manor. She knew about the scandal but did not want to share. Now we must talk to a witness, a musketeer named Aramitz. Voltaire, Parliament's Café. Toulouse is loud and smells bad. I'm a long way from the gentle streets of Pau. 
Last night we played with Voltaire and his friend. They enjoyed our cheating? Conte says they are famous for be being clever. You must have to be very clever to enjoy being made to feel stupid. The General. Parliament's Café. Helped Voltaire with a moral experiment by playing against some drunks. The Comte says they will not remember what happened in the morning, so we can milk them again. I felt quite impressive acting so fast and clever. If the boy wiping tables back in Pau could see me now, he would not believe his eyes. Henri de Aramitz. Uh, hospice. We met Aramitz and his niece, Deborah. He was a witness of the twelve bottles of milk. The Comte forced me to reveal his secrets. Miss P taught me to respect the aged. I hope to forget what the old man did with his sword. I have nightmares. At least we know now now know more about the royal scandal. Sidorane. Manor. My hand shakes. We were ambushed by a group of men at the Baroness Manor. MacGregor sent them. We succeeded in turning them against each other. But I worry the Comte is upset by my independence. I think a lot about the maid I met in the back room. I hope she has not come to any harm. I don't know who to trust. The Magician. Kaskara Camp. I now place my form in front of my writing when the Comte sits near me. You see, I was trusted with a secret. The Baroness and Aranio are the same person. He told me to be careful around the Comte. Why trust me? Because I do not speak? The mission told us where Theodore is. Corsica. We are on our way. Charles Lagan, Baths. We escaped prison and death by just a thread. Colonel Gabriel found us in Isle of Bine. He was about to pin Miss P's murder on us when I turned the tables and framed him myself. It's a small revenge for the death of Miss P. The Comte called me Eugene. I like that name. I will keep it. That's where we're at so far. So if you are excited as I am to see more of this game tomorrow, then uh, tune in tomorrow at uh, about 5 p.m. I should start. That's my goal. So in the meantime, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Whoops, wrong one. Where is it? Come on now. Come on now. That's the one. Oh. Did I accidentally... Turn off my face cams. Hmm. I guess my face cam's hotkey got de undone. Oh, well. But uh, in any case, thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope to see y'all tomorrow. Be sure to check out my socials down below. I uh, updated my games list that has all the games I've played and all the games I plan to play. So check that out down below. It's just like a Google Doc. And I have my Discord. I have my archive channel on YouTube, I have my personal channel on YouTube, I have my Twitter, I just did an unboxing on uh, my personal YouTube of the new Root expansion, so go check that out, it's a lot of cool stuff in that new game, uh, but in any case, hope to see y'all tomorrow at 5pm Eastern, and if no one else has told you this, I'll tell you this, you're a good kid, thanks everybody, let's see who there is to raid over to, alright, alright, uh, like that, there we go, all right, one moment. Let's see who is going. I believe Evil Farter is probably still going. Uh, no, he finished up. Well, let's let's uh let's actually raid over to someone else playing Card Shark. Card Shark. Yeah, let's see who's playing. Uh, Kalango. Uh, let's see somebody. Who's playing it in English, maybe? Game Onisis. Game Onisis. Okay, just want to make sure I got that spelled right. Slash raid. Game Onisis. There we go. Let him know I sent you. Enjoy a little more card shark, and uh, see y'all tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye.